Hi, I'm Claire from Wild Ginger Films and I'm here at Glenmore Lodge in Scotland with a pair of lecky running poles to find out why, when and how these can benefit runners. This film is powered by Lecky Poles. Their running poles, the Micro Trail Vario and the Micro Trail Pro, are on sale now, and the links are in the film description below. So I'm here with Simon Tams from Lecky. So Simon, why running poles? What are the benefits? Um, there's a, a reason why 90% uh, of the field in Europe use uh, use running poles. Um, the benefits basically extension in stride, less fatigue on hips, knees. Um, calves, upper body straightening, gives your respiratory organs time to take more oxygen, particularly at high altitude. But just general, um, general forward motion, ease of forward motion and being far more efficient over a greater distance, whether you're covering a, a 10, 15k or whether you're up to marathon or ultra distance in the mountains or, or on a rolling terrain. Brilliant. So you've mentioned ultras already mm -hmm. there. Um, when are they going to come in handy, these running poles? Uh, pretty much from the word go. I mean, usually you'll find for, 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 for me, myself, running ultras, um, I'll have them deployed pretty much straight away um, and I'll, I'll literally go with them, uh, particularly if uh, you, you do your research on the course. If it's a, um, a, a hilly course in the, in the short period of time from the start, I'll use them just to walk or run slowly, just to conserve my energy for the you know, 20, 30, 40 miles ahead of me. Um, but for me personally, I'll have them deployed all the time. Some people won't deploy them till the middle halfway um, or towards the back end of of the race and some people will have them start they'll do a period without it's all about doing the homework on the terrain really but but for the most part it's very much down to the end user and what they perceive will be the most efficient part of the race to happen for them and how can they help you mm. on things like uphills and downhills um, obviously the uphill it, 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 it's an assist it's almost like having a personal handrail um, you know if you, if you double pole plant you can put the poles in front of you and run maybe four to six steps with minimal effort and um, you pace against somebody who's not using poles and there'll be a definite distance stroke fatigue um, comparison there on descents they can do one of two things they can actually use behind you to propel yourself and make your descent faster particularly on loose scree type of terrain it's definitely a third point of contact so if you do slip you can push yourself back up again and also again just if you are using them forward just as a, an extra aid again that extra point of contact just as a confidence as you're bouncing away so definite actions for uphill and downhill fantastic and i've heard they're also quite useful for stability like maybe crossing rivers and things like that <laughs> yeah yeah particularly where we are now in the lovely cairngorm um you know, we've just been on a couple of runs already and the rivers are very swollen. Um, and again, it's quite nice to, to, to have a bit of a dib where you're going rather than one of those nasty surprises where you end up up to your waist in uh, something that you thought was going to be ankle deep. So yeah, definitely as, as, as an aid to river crossing. Yeah, perfect. Brilliant. So we've got a couple of different poles mm. here, haven't we? Do you want yeah. to tell us a bit about what I've got and what you've got in comparison? Yeah, we'll start off with these guys first. Um, we have here the uh, Microtrail Pro, it's a, a full carbon pole. Um, obviously that's it, it is extended, um, easy to collapse and stick in a race vest so you can uh, get it to it, activate it, deploy it. We have um, a trigger system, trigger S system here. Now the trigger system is a gauntlet which fits on your hand like so allows you to become part with the pole so you would actually use the gauntlet and the forearm and your top parts of your body to propel you rather than having to, to grab and push with the pole so again it's helping your, your forward progress with minimal effort easy to get in and out of with a little click so if you come into any obstacle you can pop yourself out or if you are doing any downhill where it's quite technical but not technical enough to use poles you don't really want to be falling with these things attached to you so you can just take them off and give it a go extended handle here again if you want to use them as pole planting for uphill you can minus the glove minus the gauntlet click straight back in and you're good to go the ones you've got there Claire they're um, a similar a similar product but they're actually adjustable so the top section if you just click yourself out there you can extend and retract oh, it see, yeah. so again if, uh, if you're lending your poles to somebody or if you decide that you want a longer length for, for climbing and the shortest length for descending and then an intermediate length for, for flat or undulating terrain you can vary your poles while you're actually in the race collapse is exactly the same fits in a race vest and the whole glove system is the same as these boys here as well that's brilliant so two different types of poles yeah. for two different applications well different 
people people can kind of get away with with these guys people can kind of get away with very light trekking as well um so if they wanted to you know invest in a pair of poles and their trekkers as well as uh, as, as ultra runners or, or runners then the one pole will do, do the job for them okay so now we just need to find out how to use them yeah off, off we, go. we go after you okay so i've got this pair of poles how do i know how long or short they should be um Ideally, we're looking for something right angles, like you can see there. So yours needs to be fractionally higher. We're 120. If these were my poles, I could just leave them now, yeah. presumably, and then just they'd always be the right length. They'd always be the right length, yeah. yeah. And okay. if you wanted to pack them, you could compress them to make them smaller. But now you know you're 120, so. 120 centimetres, fantastic. <coughs> okay, so, so now I have used poles before, so shall I just show you how I use them and yeah. you can see if I'm using them right. Let's go, yeah, let's go. <laughs> this way. Okay. So that's how I do, usually use them and sometimes I do this as well. <laughs> okay. Over puddles and things. Yeah. Um, what do you think? Well, that's definitely a good technique for clearing obstacles, clearing any mud, um, anything that's just going to generally impede your forward movement. However, what you need to use more is the gauntlets. Um, you, you, as you're running, you're generally tending to be stabbing with the pole, a stabbing motion. I'm what stabbing. we're looking for is to do it side on, and use the pole to actually, it's swing weight to actually place, and then on the backward movement, you can actually bang. Them. And on your backward movement, that's when you get your propulsion. So rather than running and stabbing with the poles, just literally let the pole and the gauntlet do all the work. Again, it's practice, but it's a very fluid movement as you actually get used to it. So swing, okay. plant, push. I hadn't really thought about it like that before. I just the pole's not going anywhere because it's attached to it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I'm just sort of that's it. like... Let the pole do all the work. Oh, right. That's actually... And then what you'll find, you'll do two or three steps with each pole plant. Yeah. Um, and you're extending your stride, you're straightening your back, so everything, reducing the risk, uh, the, the strain on your knees, your pelvic girdle and your ankles, and giving yourself a little bit of a, a, a top body workout as well. Brilliant. I think that was easier as well. I didn't realise that I was stabbing. No. So <laughs> that's actually really handy. I'm going to try that again. Yep. They sort of swing really easily as well, don't they? Yeah, yeah. They're, they're designed with a swing weight, so, so they will swing naturally. And then as you get more confident with the poles, on the, on the rearward swing, you can actually let go of the pole. Oh, right. Okay, and this will continue to allow the blood to throw through the narrow channel, which is your carpal tunnel there. So you can go back, flick, push down. So it's a very fluid movement, but obviously, as with anything, it's practice, practice, practice. Fantastic. Okay, so let's go and do some practicing okay. on the mountain bike track that you were showing me before. Okay, no problem. Cool. Okay, right, let's, let's go. go. Right, so we've got a bit of a step here, and there's a certain technique to using poles on a step, isn't there, Simon? Um, a yes and no. I mean, this is a, this is a small little um, obstacle, but obviously it becomes very big if you're out running all day, been running for four or five hours, or you're in an event. Um, this little seven or eight inch block will feel like a massive step. So um, this is where your poles really come into 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 use here. So. People will either have a preference of placing the poles uh, behind the obstacle or in front of the obstacle. And the whole idea is whichever one you choose, your poles literally will help you just glide up the, the, actual, uh, the actual obstacle with minimum effort from, uh, from your body. So, uh, so I'm running and oh, it went before the block. Uh, you did just actually float over that obstacle rather than having to physically step and push with um, one or both these. It also lim it limits the amount of shot you're getting on the landing on the opposite side as well. So all in all, that little dynamic effort there, majority of it is taken up with the poles. So therefore, hopefully you can run faster, further, longer. Perfect. Well, it felt really fun actually doing that as Excellent. well. I just Good. felt like I was kind of skipping over it. So make the decision, stick to it, do it. Can use poles to turn a, a mundane workout into uh, into a little bit of a fun exercise as well just to relieve the monotony of it so a uh, multitude of uses yeah so on a short run i just use them to have fun i think yeah. to practice mm -hmm. but where i'd use them is on a longer run yeah. for sure like on ultra runs and multi-day stuff as well i've actually got a pair of these lecky poles they're the micro trail vario and i've got another couple of other poles coming in over the winter as well so keep watching wild ginger running for some pole reviews and thanks very much to simon from lecky for letting me have a go with these and and give me some instruction this weekend pleasure thank you thank you for